Namaste, Sashrikal. To all the ladies and gentlemen who have joined us here or watching us live as we celebrate the 19th annual day of Chotirmai Public School today on 19th November 2022. Namaskar, Shubhoshondha, Shushagatam. Upostit Shakol Proshongshito, Ebang Amontri to Otitri Bindoke, Shakol Purichalon Shumiti Prodhan, Bishish to Gunijan, Shakol Media Partner, Shakol Ovibabo Kovibabika, Shamani to Shikok Shikika Brindo, Ebang Amar Prio Protibashali Chatru Chatri De, Shagoto Janati, Jotirmoy Public School Prangon Take. Boyal Covid nineteen, Otimari, Bishish Shorbo Ketri Chap Rekete. Desh, Rashtro, Nagor, Shorbotro lockdown in Proko. A lockdown, Ami, Apni, Doshakashune, Bosha, Protiti, Manush, Prohabito, A Utimarike, Mokabila, Kore, Bisho, Tata Shomogro, Manuk, Shamaj, as a Noton, Prithivik Shakotozani, Pride Du Botsor, Antorale, Jodirwai Public School, Tar Unistamo Barshi Konustane. আবার সকলকে সরাসরি স্বাগত জানাচ্ছে আপনাদের উপস্থিতি আমাদের 19 তম বার্ষিক অনুষ্ঠানের পরিবেশকে করে তুলেছে বৈচিত্র্যময় ও বর্ণময় আই অলসো হার্টলি ওয়েলকাম অল দ্য ভিউয়ার্স হু আর ওয়াচিং আস লাইভ অন ফেসবুক আই রিকোয়েস্ট অল দ্য ভিউয়ার্স টু কাইন্ডলি শেয়ার দ্য লিংক फ्रॉम आवर স্কুল ফেসবুক পেজ টু ইওর फ्रेंड्स ফ্যামিলি এন্ড রিলেটিভস to witness an entertaining and amusement program ahead. It is a moment of pride for all of us to continue with the legacy of celebrating the school's cultural fiesta with such esteemed guests from different walks of life. The distinguished guests who have already joined us in today's cultural fiesta, Mr. Zha Liu, the Honorable Consul General of People's Republic of China. We welcome you, sir, and thank you so much for agreeing to be a part of the school's legacy. Our eternal source of inspiration, Dr. Partha Sharati Ganguly, sir, founder, trustee, and president, Jyotirmoy Education and Welfare Foundation. We also wel warmly welcome you, sir. We are glad that you could make it today. Also, we have with us Mr. Oshit Kumar Shah, President, West Bengal Wrestling Association, Mr. Saurav Pal, Secretary, Southern Samiti Club. Both of them are sports enthusiasts and sports personalities who have graced us, and thank you so much for being with us here today. We also have with us our school managing committee members, Ms. Parthupriya Hemprakash, trustee JWF, and chief operating officer Shashwationline.com. Mr. Joydeep Mukherjee, he too is a sports enthusiast and ex-secretary of IFA. Joining us also we have our international associate, Mr. Hemprakash Sampat. We extend our deepest gratitude and warm welcome to you all on behalf of Choti My Public School. Music, it says, heals. Music entertains. Music takes us to a different level of bliss. What could be better than a musical piece to officially start off the 19th annual day of JPS? Ladies and gentlemen, Put your hands together and welcome the school choir as they welcome you to the gala cultural extravaganza with their presentation and sets the mood for an amazing evening ahead.
thank you school choir that is truly melodious we are really glad to have with us mr madhav mondol pradhan kalikapur ek number gram panchayat ms oshmita mridha vice dean admission student welfare and branding jwf mohammad hasanur zaman siddiqui teacher in charge jyotirmay school of law thank you all दीप्य ज्योति प्रारंभ दीप्य ज्योति जनार्दन दीपो में हर तु पापम दीप ज्योति नमस्तुते लाइट इज अ सिंबल ऑफ ऑस्पिशियसनेस प्रॉस्पेरिटी एंड अबांडेंस इट इज द पावर दैट एल्यूमिनेट्स आवर सोल फ्रॉम द इटर्नल डार्कनेस न्याय एंड वाइट आर डिस्टिंग्विश्ड गेस्ट कंसल जनरल ऑफ पीपल्स रिपब्लिक ऑफ चाइना Mr. Zhaoliu, founder, trustee, and president of JWF, Dr. Gangguli Sir, and I would also request our senior most dignitaries who have joined us, Mr. Oshit Kumar Shah, to join for the lamp lighting ceremony. to pay tribute to late jyotimai ganguli sir and late ms mira ganguli and seek their blessings on all of us dignitaries to spread the light on this occasion i am happy to announce that few of our esteemed guests have joined us mr zhang from people's republic of china we also have with us mr jayant sharkar coach of chess shri Vishwajit Das, Professor of Media Science from Maharaja Mahendra Chandra College. Mr. Shamurchit Ganguli, Director, SIIL. Ms. Pamela Mukherjee, Headmistress, Jyoti Shishu Bihar. Dr. Falguni Bhuiya, Principal, Jyoti Mai School of Education. We extend our warm greetings. to all the dignitaries who have joined us today may i now call upon stage the ardent leader who works diligently for the benefit of the school and students mr shushan das principal jyotima public school 
to officially welcome the August gathering. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. A hearty welcome to everyone present here today. We have the honor of having amongst us the Honorable Council General of the People's Republic of China in Kolkata, Mr. Zalio, along with his associate, Mr. Zhang Zhong, sir from, welcome to our campus. Along with him, we have on the podium, Dr. Partho Sharati Ganguly, sir, the patron and president of Jyotirmoy Education and Welfare Foundation. We are extremely delighted to have your gracious presence and please accept our sincere, sincerest gratitude for having taken out time for us. We will be joined very soon by another dignitary, Professor Shoykot Moitro, sir, Vice Chancellor of Maulana Abul Kalam Azad University of Technology. Sir is on his way. We are extremely privileged to have amongst us a galaxy of guests. We have Mr. Madhav Mondol, Gram Panchayat Pradhan, Act Number Kalikapur Gram Panchayat. Mr. Oshik Kumar Shaha, President, West Bengal Wrestling Association. Mr. Shorup Pal, Secretary of Southern Shomiti Club. Mr. Joyanto Shorkar, Chess Coach. Ms. Parthapriya Hem Prakash, Trustee, JEWF and Chief Operating Officer, SarswatiOnline.com. Sir R.K. Sikdar, sir, an eminent educationist. Among our managing committee members, we have Mr. Joydeep Mukherjee, sir, a sports enthusiast and the ex-secretary of Indian Football Federation of West Bengal. Mr. Shorup Pal, sir, has already been mentioned. Secretary of the Southern Samiti Club, we are privileged to have your presence here. We have Ms. Oshmita Mridha, Vice Dean Admissions, Student Welfare and Branding, JEWF. We have Sir Bishwajit Das, Professor of Media Science, Maharaja Monindra Chandra College. Welcome to you, sir. We have Mr. Hem Prakash Sampat, an international associate and aiding uh, helping us with all our programs the students will be putting up today. We have the gracious presence of our unit heads, Ms. Pamela Mukherjee, Headmistress, Jyoti Shishu Vihar, Kashiara Campus, Dr. Falguni Bhuya, Principal, Jyotirmoy School of Education, Mohammad Hasanur Zaman Siddiqui, Teacher in Charge, Jyotirmoy School of Law, Ms. Shuli Mukherjee, Vice Dean, Prime Finance and Administration, JEWF. I think we are recently joined with Ms. Choitali Chatterjee, Teacher in Charge, Headmistress of Jyoti Shishu Vihar, Meenaka Campus, and our friends from the press. It's indeed, we are humbled with the galaxy of eminent persons gracing this program. On behalf of the students and staff of Jyotirmoy, public school, I, Sushant Das, principal of the school, extend our warm welcome to all the distinguished guests, staff members of Jyotirmoy Knowledge Park, colleagues, my dear students in the audience, and dear parents who are present here today, and to all those viewing us live on the occasion of the 19th annual day celebration. Last two years had been really excruciating for us all, especially more for our children. Being locked indoors and away from friends for long made them more withdrawn and vulnerable. Apparently, it hampered their psychosocial development and their academic performance, which was evident in their everyday interactions as we opened up after the pandemic. It has been a mammoth task before all the teachers and staff in school to bring them back to the same vigor as was before the closure. Children having the digital platform open before them were at loss to understand the ill effects of the addiction and misuse of the gadgets. We are yet to overcome this challenge. 
Only with the supervision of parents and constant counseling can they recover. While children learning from home missed their friends, found learning at home challenging and concentrating more difficult, there were significant gains in both the quantity and quality of family time. Home being the first school of a child has a direct impact on the belief system that gets manifested in all their activities and interactions with the outside world, including school. It is therefore expected that parents will shoulder the responsibility along with the school to ensure that their child is groomed into a good human being, having the following values of discipline, punctuality, regularity, empathy, courage, and respect for all. Life skills such as self-discipline, management of time, peer interaction, dealing with strangers, being by themselves, etc., cannot be taught through books, but acquired through personal experiences. To make our students experience the real world away from the comfort of home, we organize excursions every year. However, due to the pandemic and its trailing effects, we have not been able to do so since the last two years. Nevertheless, in the month of March this year, as the lockdown was lifted, we organized a three days residential nature camp in school, Concord 2.0, for students of classes seven and eight. The camp was organized with assistance from Mr. Hem Prakash Sampath, aiming to provide students an opportunity to break away from the monotony of the homestay, develop all-round personality, and create an awareness and empathy for nature through fun activities. In the academic year 21-22, we had 100% pass performance in class 10 CBSC board examination. Master Pranjal Dev made us proud by securing the highest percentage of 98.2. Besides that, we had eight students securing more than 90% marks in the aggregate and 67 out of 89 students securing 60% and more. This year was the fourth batch of class 12 who had appeared for the CBSC board exam. Ishita Roy of class 12 humanities secured the highest percentage of 96.6 in the aggregate. We also had exemplary performance in the Olympiad exams. I feel proud to announce that Master Shivraj Ray of class 3 presently, class 2 last year, had secured the second international rank in the International Mathematics Olympiad held in 2021-22, making a mark along among the global competitors. So this really deserves a round loud of applause. I believe over the past 18 years, Jyotirmoy Public School has evolved to be one of the best schools, not only in the district, but also in the state and at the national level. My statement is validated by some of the achievements over the years and the recent report of the school survey conducted by the renowned daily, The Times of India, where we have been placed in the rank second as one of the top schools and the best among the CBSC brethren in the district and ranked 14 in the state of West Bengal. Also this year, in the Telegraph School Awards, our school received the Vidya Mandir Society Award for Excellence in Extracurricular Activities, along with the Certificate of Merit. In the same event, our student, Riddhi Roy of Class 6, received an award for his indomitable spirit under the category Award for Courage. The school also offers countless opportunities to harness the creative skills of our students apart from our yearly publications of the annual school magazine, where an array of articles, stories, sketches, fun facts, and stimulating riddles are assembled. This year on, from the month of July, we have also started with the monthly newsletter, Jyoti Darpan. Under the initiative and able guidance of Mrs. Vanita Ganguly, Madam, and Ms. Anushka Ganguly, we are honored to have them on board. The newsletter aims to mirror various school activities and achievements and events in and around school. Apart from academic achievements, our students had brought laurels not only for themselves, 
but for the school as well as in the field of sports and other co-scholastic activities. We have among our students a tiny but, Ms. Arohi Shorkar of class 3, who has been selected to compete in the nationals by Roller Skating Federation of India. Rudro Haldar of class 5 has bagged the first position in the second Open National Taekwondo Championship 2022. Shreya Ghosh of Class 12 Humanities is already a certified karate coach. Two national karate champions, Kanishka Banerjee of Class 11 Commerce and Odrija Bhomik of Class 11 Humanities. And the list is long, trust me. Every student in JPS is unique and talented and we are immensely proud of each one of them. As a school, we understand the need to imbibe in our students the most important 21st century skills, that is entrepreneurship. It gives us immense pleasure to announce that our students have been placed among the top 100 innovative ideas, laying forward their innovative business models in Udayam Siksha's online entrepreneurship program in association with the Central Board of Secondary Education. The recognized ideas were a solution for agriculture by designing an automatic pest control and plant watering machine put forward by Karan Singh of class 12, designing a home decor company using recyclable materials by Trisha Noshkor, Noshkor and Parna Das of class 12 again, a solution for relief during menstrual cramps by their product, by the name Release X, put forward by Origi Chatterjee and Koshani Dasgupta of class 12. Our aim is to give our students a proper exposure and experience of their strengths and identify areas which require improvement. Thus, many of our students this year participated in several inter-school competitions held at different places around the city. Many among them secured prizes and brought trophies to the school with their performances. To mention a few, gold in inter-school elocution competition 2022 organized by Ramakrishna Mission Vidya Mandir, two golds and a silver in the National Budding Genius Quiz competition organized by the BCCI, two gold and a bronze in the Lions Calcutta Greater Vidya Mandir organized fest, besides that a gold medal in the APJ School Fest to name a few. Our vision to nurture talent successfully has proved to be effective and successful time and again. Though the success stories of our torch bearers are many, I feel elated to announce that some of our students are placed in medicals, IITs and reputed law colleges across the country presently. We are a progressive school and believe in activity-based learning, where skills can be harnessed, talents can be nurtured exhaustively, hence weekly co-curricular activities are devised in the regular curriculum. Students can choose to participate in a plethora of extracurricular activities being offered like wrestling, skating, karate, volleyball, cricket, football, kho-kho, kabaddi, and chess. All EC activities are conducted under the expert supervision of respective coaches. You would be happy to note that we have recently associated with National Cadet Corps of the 31 Bengal BNNCC Battalion. As of now, as per the unit allocation, 25 students of class 8 are registered with them and we have plans to register more students in the upcoming years. Unity Run was organized by the NCC students with the in-charge teachers commemorating the birth anniversary of late Sri Sardar Vallabhai Patel on 31st October. As a principal, I feel honored to let all our guests know that we have had the privilege of hosting the national and district level competitions in our school ground. The 32nd Senior National Sipak Takro Championship for men and women was held from 16th to the 20th of October, wherein 620 players and 150 officials were housed in the campus for five days and it was a day and night event that gave our students a first-hand experience of a very unconventional and very skillful sport. Our teachers regularly undergo CBSC training workshops 
to keep them updated with latest trends in teaching pedagogy and dealing with the students and evolve to be better facilitators for the students. For the same, we had organized a four-day workshop for teachers in the month of June on various topics. You would be happy to know that our school would be hosting a center, CBSC authorized two days workshop for teachers on the 26th and 27th of November, wherein teachers, not only from our school, but for almost 50 schools around the city will be participating in this training event. Believe me, not only students, the teachers are also acknowledged with their efforts and acknowledging their effort, Ms. Shornali Datta was awarded the best teacher on behalf of the school by the IIHM, Indian Institute of Hotel Management, Kolkata. And as a principal par excellence, I was awarded too by the same institute. So we very humbly received both the awards on behalf of our school, on behalf of the entire team. At JPS, we pride ourselves in working in partnership with parents and students and staff to provide an excellent education for our young ambassadors. We offer a student-centered learning suited to the needs of the individual and challenging them to reach their full potential. To meet the pre-need of the students and parents, the school organizes regular parent-teacher meetings to brief the parent regarding the child's performance. Also, at the beginning of every academic session, we send the split syllabus, which contains the entire year syllabus for all major exams, the annual calendar, which lists the events and programs for the academic session, and on top of that, weekly academic plans on every Friday for the upcoming week, which helps the students to plan for the classes and also helps to reduce the weight of their bags. We share all major information from the school's end over SMS and WhatsApp groups dedicated to the classes. As an initiative to save trees and maintain transparency in our communication with our stakeholders. Apart from that, we also celebrate all major festivals and days of national importance in school. We expect that parents will come forward and make their children participate in all such occasions too. Some of the celebrations like Independence Day, Investiture Ceremony, the Republic Day, Holi, Diwali are an integral part of our school culture. Culture is the widening of the mind and of the spirit to make cultural development possible in today's children and tomorrow's leaders. We organize the annual day every year at Jyotirmoy Public Schools, which includes the program gives the students the much needed exposure to become citizens with valuable views and input to the society in later stages. We hope we will be able to make the children better humans who will contribute significantly in leading the country in the path of development. I believe all of you are eagerly waiting for the evening's programs to begin. More than 440 participants, aided by more than 50 volunteers and guided by a team of almost 100 teachers and staff of JFES, have put in their hard work for today's program. Kindly excuse us in case there are any pitfalls, as from there we learn and keep on improving further with each passing year. Please enjoy the performances by the little blooming buds and encourage them with loud applause so that they are inspired to perform even better. Have a wonderful evening ahead and thank you so much for giving me such a patient hearing. Thank you so much. Thank you to our principal sir, Mr. Shushan Dash. Thank you for your support, your caring, and most of all, thank you for your leadership. You have been a great inspiration to all of us. Today's distinguished guest does not need much of an introduction. Mr. Zha Liu, born in Jiangsu province in January 1964, started his extraordinary journey as a member of the National Economic Committee of the People's Republic of China in 1987. Since then, for nine long years, he held his office as Deputy Director and Director, General Office of the Organization Department of the CPC Central Committee from 1998-2008, and then as a Counselor for the Department of Counselor Affairs, Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs from 2008 to 2012. In 2012, he was appointed as the counselor 
for the Chinese Embassy in the United States of America, where he served a tenure of two, ter two terms. And then as Deputy Consul General, he joined the Office of Chinese Consulate General in San Francisco for a tenure of four years. And since 2019, he has held office as Consul General of the Chinese Consulate General in Kolkata. We feel honored to have a man of such a stature amongst us. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mr. Zha Liu on stage. Also, would kindly request our president, Dr. Ganguly, sir, to please join us on stage to felicitate our distinguished guest. Sir, please. A portrait sketched by our own very student. Dr. Ganguly is presenting a small token on behalf of our school to our distinguished guest, Mr. Chai. Good evening, Jai to my public school. I'm sure you as parents are must, you know, must be very proud for your school and for the fact that your kids grow up in this great school. Do you agree? Applause? You know, when people grow to 19 years old, that is a marvelous age of great achievement. So when I hear Principal Shushan Das mentioning many of your kids achieving great, the school listed among top school in the state and even the nation, I just feel I'm one of you. I am one of you in the campus because being young, being 19 years old, is a great, great year for your you know, wonderful career, wonderful life ahead of you. So on this 19th foundational day of George Moy Public School, I congratulate all of the kids, all the faculty, all the parents, and of course, I really feel appreciative. And I have to say congratulations to Dr. Patel Ganguly. Under your visionary leadership for the last years, all our parents and kids deserve this appreciation. So on behalf of the Chinese Consul General in, in Kolkata, I thank you very much for inviting me. You know, your invitation brought a good memory I have in mind for the last decades. You know, when I worked in Chinese capital Beijing from Jiangsu, three decades away. And then I work in the United States in Washington DC and San Francisco, now in your great state of West Bengal. I just feel that everything I learned on campus did not fail me. I can ensure you everything I learned from campus, from our dear teachers, from exchange with the parents, from school principals, every, you know, every few years doesn't fail me at all. In my decades of public serving in China and Chinese diplomat, I always recall the words given to me during different phase of my life, very vivid. 
maybe one of my best experiences that okay when I scored ten nineteen when our primary school kids get on the campus handed over by our parents. We should never stop learning from primary to middle school to high school to university. You never stop learning. I, you know, uh, all my uh, public service career, I take my after class, after work class programs, including my master degree and PhD degree. Until a couple of years ago, I really do not have enough time to pursue the de degree and then stop. What I mean is, learning is a lifelong endeavor. Never stop. And then, why China? So why I'm here speaking to Jyoti Moy Public School? I can tell you, your dear Mr. Chairman, Mother Chatterjee has long been associated with China. Maybe you have not heard much, but maybe this is a good time I share with you Dr. Pata Ganguly. You know, hundreds of young Indian medical students have returned to India. They have returned to India after graduation from medical degree programs in China. They have made, actually I have met many of them, they have made tremendous contribution in the last years in the community in fighting pandemic and saving lives in our community. As Chinese Consul General in Kolkata, I feel very proud to be so close to Jyoti Moy Public School, to Dr. Pata Ganguly and your associate, your faculties, and also for the brilliant students you have brought to our great relationship between India and China. I just hope this is my first visit to campus after, you know, nearly three years because even myself get stuck in office. I'm not able to travel to China, back to China on vacation. I'm not able to meet many of you, but I feel so honored today to, vi to visit your campus. I hope to come back more to exchange views with kids, parents, faculties, and the friends of Jyoti Moy Public School. So, to conclude, I wish this great school on your 19th anniversary and foundational day, I wish you, your kids, your parents, faculties all the best in the next 19 years and many times in 19 years to prosper so that you make greater contribution to this great relationship between China and India thank you very much I have so we kindly request you to stay back on stage your valuable thoughts are a source of encouragement for our children, sir. And having an esteemed guest as yourself with us, we will selfishly take your time to felicitate our laurel holders for the academic session 21-22. But for the prize distribution is not complete without Dr. Ganguly. So I kindly request Dr. Ganguly to please join us on stage and felicitate our laurel holders as well.
every year we have batches of students fairly exceptionally well in scholastic and post-scholastic areas. They make us proud, winning accolades for themselves and also for the institution. And we deem our privilege to award them for their success. So presenting before you all, the prize distribution of the academic session 2021. Coming up first, we have the students of class three who are present in class four. First, we have Bitan Monjol receiving the award for scoring the highest in second language Hindi. Next, we have Uchha Pramanik. She scored the highest in EVS in the academic session 2021-2022. Next, for second language Bengali, we have three students scoring the highest, Ahad Divan, Sara Vishash, and Srijita Shardal. Scoring the highest in English and Maths, and also being the class topper, the award goes to Srijita Shardal. Sorry, Shivraj Ray. My mistake is Shivraj Ray. Shri has scored the highest in English and Maths and is also the school, also the class topper of class 3 for the academic session 2021-22. Next we have for grade four, Devopriya Patro scoring the highest in English. Mehek Asmi scoring the highest in EBS. Jenny Pramanik scoring the highest in second language Bengali. Shomili Shardar was scored the highest in second language Hindi. And Jito Shri Haldar who scored the highest in maths and is also the class topper of former class four and presently in class five. Can Are we you... have some claps, please, guardians? Now it's time for class five prize winners, presently who are in class six. For the session 21-22, Shankar Shukra Nashkor secured the highest marks in English, Soham Ray, who has got the highest marks in second language Bengali and SSC. Durga Saloni has backed the highest marks in second language Hindi. Then we have Ritam Bar, who secured highest marks in maths. And Oli Chakraborty, who has secured highest marks in science. Nevertheless, with 96.57%, Meghatri Shardar is the class topper for class 5 for the session 21-22. Kudos to all the prize winners. Moving on to class 6 prize winners, presently who are in class 7. For the session 21-22, Onushka Pal has backed the highest marks in English. Audrey Chapal, who has secured the highest marks in science. SSC and third language Hindi. Shornabhu Vishash has got highest marks in second language Bengali, third language Hindi and Maths. Hakanksha Haldar secured highest marks in third language Bengali. Shafal Lopal has backed the highest marks in second language Bengali and third language Hindi and also the class topper with 96.53%. Congratulations Shafal and all the achievers.
Rifa Sheikh Tanvi. Rifa Tanvi Sheikh had already received her award for English and third language Hindi, belonging to former class seven. Shubhangi Datta, second language Bengali, social science. Shapratip Mondol for third language Bengali. Prachi Vishwakarma for second language Hindi. And Shehankita Das, having scored the highest in science and maths, is a class topper of former class 7 with 93.95 per cent. Riti Roy, student of class 6, is a true embodiment of courage and determination. He did not give up even after knowing that doctors had foretold he could never work. He was determined and with the help of physiotherapy, he can now walk and do all the things on his own. In spite of all his regular challenges, he is a force to reckon with. He is brave and courageous and one of the participants in all co-curricular and extracurricular activities in school. He also took part on the International Yoga Day. Riddhi, for JPS, is one of the most courageous boys we have come across in life. His strength is indomitable spirit and invisible willpower. He is an inspiration for the whole school. For this, we are conferring him with special award and pray that he achieved success in life and hope he shines like the brightest star he is. We feel immensely proud to announce that our next distinguished guest has already joined us. He is none other than Professor Shoikat Mitro. Shoikat Mitro, the Vice Chancellor of Molana Abul Kalam Azad University of Technology, West Bengal. Also, we are thrilled to announce that our Honorable Consul General, Mr. Jha, will be donating 15 volleyball for our students today to encourage them into adopting more outdoor games. I would like to call upon our physical education coordinator, Vishujit sir, and our school games captain, Tomokno Mondol of class 12, to accept sir's generous gift on behalf of the school. We have the school captain, Ogrive Mondor, collecting it on behalf of the school. A volleyball from Mr. Jha. Rest assured, sir, we'll use these gifts in the best way possible. At JPS, we believe that sports and games promote integrity, good health, and builds relationships and so we have various activities to encourage the same among our children. Your gift has but strengthened our resolve the more. Mr. Shah is also presenting our students with some t-shirts. We are really thankful to him for his generous gift. us with your presence sir it is a wonderful experience to have you as you your presence added to the charm on the event it's a pleasure for our organization to have such esteemed guests with us 
Mr. Jean Liu, and Professor Shoikot Moitro. Professor Moitro does not need much of an introduction. He's a Dorian educationist and scientist whose contribution and research in science and technology has aided in the advancement in the field of education. He is associated with the Institute of Engineers of India, Indian Institute of Chemical Engineers, Indian Ceramic Society, Executive Council Member of the Indian Society for Technical Education, and with many other organizations. He is also the recipient of the SS Bhatnagar Memorial Award from Indian Science Congress, Lifetime Achievement Award from Confederation of Indian Universities, and many other from different bodies and institutions. Professor Maitro is also a member of several regulatory boards. He had published more than 200 research papers in different national and international journals, presented 60 papers in different conferences, filed patents, authored books, and book chapters, and organized several training programs and workshops, both nationally and internationally. We welcome you, sir, on behalf of the Jyotimai Public School Fraternity and request for your gracious presence on stage. I would also request our principal, Mr. Shushan Das, sir, to please join our honored guest, Professor Shoikat Maitra on stage. Felicitating Professor Shoikat Maitra is our principal, Mr. Shushan Das. You are presenting him with a sketch made by our student and with a potted plant. We are honored to have you with us here, sir. We would take away this opportunity from sir to felicitate our laurel holders. We've already given away the awards to former class 7 students and we'll start with the former class 8 students receiving the prize for scoring the highest in third language Bengali and second language Hindi, Audrey Jamondol, presently in class 9. Next we have Srija Noshkor, who scored the highest in second language Bengali. And then the class topper with 95.18% who has scored the highest in math, science, social science, English, third language Hindi. A big round of applause, parents. Next we have the students of class 9 of the academic session of class 21-22. Pallavi Vishwa scoring the highest in English. Arya Bose scored the highest in English, Maths and Science. Next we have Trisha Prasad, scoring the highest in Second Language Hindi. And the class topper of the academic session, 21-22 Pritha Gail with 93.7% highest in Bengali and Social Science. Next in line, we have the achievers of class 11, presently in class 12, for the session 21-22. Shreya Dotto got the highest mark in second language Hindi. Snehashish Chakraborty Sikwet, the highest mark in chemistry. Oh. That was the award list for the class 10 former students. Next we have the class 11 students. Shriya Dutta for second language Hindi, Snehashish Chakraborty for chemistry. Prerana Das has scored the highest in geography. 
Neon Shah for computer science. Purvasha Das has backed the highest in English, maths, economics, history, Paul science, and is also the class topper of humanities with 93.26%. Next, we have Tuahira Khan from Commerce, who has scored the highest in physical education, accounts, and BST with 89.55% and is present in class 12. Next, we have Arachya Kamal from Bioscience, scoring 84.92% and having back the highest marks in physics, second language, Bengali, and biology. Next, we have from Computer Science, the class topper with 73.4% Santosh Kumar. Former class 12 and our ex-student now walking in. It's a proud moment to have you here. Vidisha Mondal has scored the highest in history. Chondin Chatterjee. What I'm announcing now are the board results and how they have scored in the 2021 class 12 boards. Chondin Chatterjee has scored the highest in physical education in the boards. Rajan Yapal, second language Bengali. And we have a line of students scoring the highest in second language Bengali. Ayantika Shordar. Rithik Nashkar. And Raita Zed. Next we have Anshu Kumari scoring the highest in boards in second language Hindi. Coming up next is Vidushi Purkait, bagging the highest in physical education in the class 12 board exam. Next, we have Shriyan Guria scoring the highest in physics. We're now announcing our board toppers. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause for Ishita Roy for having back the highest with 96.6% scoring highest in second language Bengali, Paul Science and Physical Education. Next we have Spondon Das with 96.2% in class 12 boards and the class topper from Bioscience scoring the highest in English, Physics, Chemistry and Biology. Next we have Rishabh Dev from Commerce having scored 93% in boards and highest in accounts, BST, and economics. And we also have Bishop Dev Maiti, who is not here with us, but all our love and blessing would be for him. Congratulations, all the prize winners. JPS has always provided its students with a healthy and fairly competitive environment to help them grow in every sphere of life so that they realize that their true potential and get ready to face the outer world once they complete their school studies. We would now honor and acclaim the excellent achievement of Sivraj Ray, the superb feat of securing the second international rank along with the zonal second and school first in the International Mathematics Olympiad deserves a special recognition. So, I will kindly request you to please wait. Um, a kind request from all of us, if you could please address the gathering, sir. Good evening to all of you. Indeed, I'm very happy to be amongst you at this uh, annual day observation at Jyotipur Public School. For the first time, I'm coming to this institute. Uh, Mr. Ganguly, uh, who is uh, closely associated with me for some other activities, uh, has requested, so I could not turn it down. And 
After coming over to this place, what uh, I had no idea that uh, here would be uh, such a big school with all these uh, enthusiastic students, parents, teachers, and uh, its management. They are here uh, for the uh, for taking care of educational systems of uh, these uh, young minds, aspiring minds. So these students who have received award today, for them. I have one words that uh, these hours definitely will give you confidence and uh, at the same time you try to uh, look into all your hidden potential or you look at, at, at your mind uh, to find out what is the call of your mind call, to un understand, to identify your passion and that is required very much. Besides now we are now focusing to embed and imbibe passion with uh, our entire education system. Until now, unless you love these things, you will love to do something creative, innovative. If you, if you don't love anything to uh, pursue forward with, uh, with optimum dose of passion and emotion, then uh, you see, uh, it is very difficult to become uh, ordinary to good and from good to great. So, our country is boasting of our demographic dividend. That is our largest potential, largest, you know, this resource. That this resource is our, this young aspiring mind. Now, what is required now? We have to have the spirit of uh, doing something innovative, doing something breakthrough, developing collaboration and networking with all the learning community, all others having a sympathetic and empathetic look to the society to identify the problems and accordingly applying ourselves to raise to the occasion. And then what will happen, then the success will be at our feet. We, uh, even after so many years of independence, we, uh, we could not do uh, enough uh, considering the potential talent and opportunities we are having. So this is the, the time has come to uh, to make ourselves, you know, this uh, prepared for taking up this challenging act, this task and don't and uh, this task, which uh, which is now looming over the entire world, how to take care of the future because this is volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous time. Here we are seeing lots of problems starting from geopolitical tension, starting from climate change, starting from uh, hunger, starting from water scarcity, starting from air pollution, everything, everything has a problem and problem. But other sides of this problem is opportunity. And who will be taking care of all these problems? Who will be converting these problems into opportunity? Who will be improving the state of lives of all these, you know, these course of populations at this country? This, this responsibility, is on our shoulders. We have to take care of all these things. And here, our major weapon, our armor, is our young and aspiring mind. So I believe that the school is doing enough exercises in uh, in uh, taking up this task, in uh, in developing human resources in the best possible way to take care of the future, to take care of the society, community, and country. My sincere is congratulations to all the managements, the principals, teachers, and other other stakeholders of this uh, of the school, school, parents, students, they deserve special attention, special mention, because it is their direct contribution to take care of these academics, to bring their words to this. Uh, the, it is the it is the uh, uh, contribution of the parents. They are bringing their words here, and the contribution of the teachers to nurture and to encourage this, uh, this particularly the birds to, to blossom further into flower, into, in a, you know, you know, this, you know, to convert these plants up into, into big trees of future, to give shelter to, 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 to lots of, you know, this, uh, our uh, existing ecosystem. And with all these things, I'd like to conclude, we, we represent one university. That university is taking care of all these technical professionals and employable educations at this state. Many of the students uh, 
I believe that in future they will be joining, they will be uh, very prominent professionals of the future, be it in field of medic, uh, med, um, uh, this um, engineering, technology, management, or medicinal fields. So I wish they join to our systems, to our ecosystems, and we are keenly interested to develop a strong bonding with different schools. We, already, we are already having a program like it's called School Connect, where we are reaching out to different schools to offer different short shop, you know, these latest technological features, uh, which are, uh, which are uh, of utmost importance as far as the career opportunities concerned for the future generation. We are trying to make uh, you know, this, uh, this learning community, particularly the school students, aware of all these emerging potentials and opportunities. And uh, I'll try to send our representative here to interact with the school authorities for the benefit of the students to make a choice and informed decision to take their career further. So, wish you all the best. Thank you very much for inviting me at this occasion today. Thank you, sir, for your enlightening speech. We are grateful for the time and effort you took to share your thoughts and your experiences with us. Ladies and gentlemen, our very own respected Dr. Partha Sharuthi Ganguly, sir, founder, trustee, and president, Jyotima Education and Welfare Foundation. A kind request to you, sir, if you could please come upon stage. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we feel honored and proud to announce that sir has been conferred with the 13th Chanakya Award for his exceptional contribution in bringing excellence in education through selfless initiatives. Chanakya Award is presented by Public Relations Council of India to individuals who brought fame and name to one's country through their exceptional contributions. And this year, our very own patron, Dr. Ganguly, has been one of the recipients. A big round of applause for Sir, please. I would take this opportunity to please request Sir to address us. A very good evening to everybody. Shubha Aparanno, Shubha Sandha. Ajge Onishtamo annual day celebrations of Jyotirmai Public School. 2004 shal, somewhere around February March, amra Jyotirmay schooler japta shuru kori, Ghashiara ramadere chotto bari theke. Shei diner shuru cha hoy je potchola, shei potchola ajke ekhane Jyotirmay Public School, class 12 CBSE affiliated. Ebang apna ra khani kono aage, amader principal Shushan Dasir. বক্তব্যের মধ্যে পেয়েছেন যে আমাদের ছাত্রছাত্রীদের যে সাকসেস তার কিছু কিছু নমুনা ইট গিভস মি অ্যাকচুয়ালি ইমেন্স প্লেজার সেই দিনকে 2004 সালে যখন আমরা শুরু করেছিলাম তখন কিন্তু আমরা অনেকেই ভাবতে পারিনি যে আমরা আমাদের যাত্রা এত সুদৃঢ় হবে এবং সাকসেসফুল হবে বেয়াল্লিশটা ছেলেবেকে নিয়ে আমাদের যাত্রা শুরু হয় উদ্দেশ্য কি ছিল আপনারা অনেকেই হয়তো আমাকে ব্যক্তিগতভাবে জানেন অনেকে হয়তো জানেন না আমার জন্ম এই সোনারপুরেই ঘাসিয়ারার সংলগ্ন নতুন পল্লীতে তো আমরা ছোটবেলা থেকে যখন পড়াশোনা করতাম যদিও আমার সৌভাগ্য ছিল যে আমাকে বাবা সাউথ পয়েন্ট স্কুলে ভর্তি করেছিলেন ইংলিশ মিডিয়ামে তখনই বাবার দুর্দর্শিতা ছিল যে ইংরেজি মাধ্যমে পড়াশোনা করলে ছেলে হয়তো এগোতে পারবে এর পিছনে আমার মার অবদান অনেক বেশি ছিল কেন আমি একটা ছোট্ট ঘটনা বলবো আপনাদেরকে একটা তো তখন থেকে আমি দেখতাম যে আমি যতক্ষণ পাড়ায় এসে আড্ডা আড্ডা মারতাম আমার পাড়ার বন্ধুদের সঙ্গে যারা অনেকেই বাংলা মাধ্যমের স্কুলে পড় পড়াশোনা করতেন যেহেতু আমি ইংলিশ মাধ্যমে পড়তাম এবং কলকাতায় যাতায়াত করতাম আমার হয়তো অ্যাপারেন্ট একটা স্মার্টনেস হয়তো এসছিল যেটা এক্সপোজার থেকে আসে অভিজ্ঞতা থেকে আসে 
আমার যে অনেক ভালো পড়াশোনা করতে পারতো অনেক আমার বন্ধুরা ছিল কিন্তু আমি একটা ন্যাচারাল লিডার হয়ে যেতাম বিকজ অফ মাই জেনারেল নলেজ অ্যান্ড মাই এক্সপোজার তো সেইখান থেকে আমার একটা ইচ্ছে ছিল যে কিছু একটা করতে হবে আমরা এত পিছিয়ে থাকার কোনো প্রয়োজন নেই অ্যাকচুয়ালি বাস্তব জায়গাটা কোথায় জানেন বাস্তব জায়গাটা হচ্ছে ভারতবর্ষ বহু রাজ্যে বিভক্ত এবং প্রত্যেকটা রাজ্যে তার নিজস্ব একটা ভাষা আছে আমাদের পড়াশোনাটা সেই ভাষার মাধ্যমেই হয় কিন্তু আমাদের উচ্চ শিক্ষাটা রয়েছে ইংলিশ মাধ্যমে যার জন্য আমরা যারা যারা ভার্নাকুলার মিডিয়াম অর্থাৎ মাতৃভাষায় স্কুলের পাঠ করি তারা কিন্তু অনেক সময় আমরা পিছিয়ে যাই উচ্চ শিক্ষার ক্ষেত্রে সেইখানে আমাদেরকে বাংলা আমরা ওয়েস্ট বেঙ্গলে বাংলা শিখি উড়িষ্যায় ওড়িয়া শেখে অ্যাসামে অ্যাসামিজ শেখে তেলেঙ্গানায় তেলেগু শেখে তামিলনাড়ুতে তামিল ভাষায় শেখে কিন্তু আমাদের উচ্চ শিক্ষা সবার জন্য ইংলিশ মাধ্যমে যেটা পৃথিবীর অন্যান্য দেশে নেই যেমন রাশিয়াতে যদি আপনি জন্মগ্রহণ করেন আপনি যেখানেই জন্মগ্রহণ করেন একটাই ভাষা শিখবেন রাশিয়ান চাইনাতেও তাই জাপানেও তাই ইংল্যান্ডেও তাই আমেরিকাতেও তাই ফ্রান্সেও তাই জার্মানিতেও তাই একটাই ভাষা শিখতে হয় কিন্তু আমাদের অনেকগুলো ভাষা শিখতে হয় আর সবচেয়ে বড় কথা আমাদের যে ভাষার শিক্ষা খুব ইজিলি অ্যাভেলেবেল যথার্থ মানে পর্যাপ্তভাবে অ্যাভেলেবেল সেটা হচ্ছে আমাদের মাতৃভাষায় কিন্তু সেই ভাষায় আমাদের উচ্চ শিক্ষা অ্যাভেলেবেল নেই পার্টিকুলারলি সায়েন্স বা প্রফেশনাল এডুকেশন এইটার জন্যই আমরা রুরাল ইন্ডিয়াতে অনেক পিছিয়ে আছি আরবান ইন্ডিয়ার থেকে যার জন্য যারা গ্রামীণ অঞ্চলে জন্মগ্রহণ করছেন তারা এখনও সব সময় ইংরেজি শিক মাধ্যমে শিক্ষা গ্রহণ করতে পারছে না আপনারাই ভাবুন না স্বাধীনতার পঁচাত্তর বছর পরেও জন্মগতভাবেই কি এই বৈষম্যটার প্রয়োজন আছে এখনও এইটারই দুর্গীকরণের জন্য একটা ক্ষুদ্র প্রচেষ্টা আপনি বলতে পারেন জ্যোতির্ময় পাবলিক স্কুল কতটা সাকসেসফুল হয়েছি কতটা সাকসেসফুল হয়নি এটা বিশ্বাস মানে বিশ্লেষণ না করে বা বিচার না করে আমি যেটা বলবো যে আমরা সঠিক পথে হাঁটছি আমাদের স্কুলে আমার সাকসেসটা তখনই মনে হয় যখন আমার বহু ছেলে মেয়ে আমি ব্যক্তিগতভাবে তাদের চিনি যারা হয়তো প্রথম জেনারেশন লার্নার আমার এখান থেকে বহু ছেলে মেয়ে এসছে যারা হয়তো আমরা যদি এইখানে স্কুলটা না করতাম তাহলে কিন্তু তারা হয়তো ইংরেজি মাধ্যমে তাদের স্কুল শিক্ষা করতে পারতো না এই জায়গাটা আপনারা সবাই জানেন কলকাতার কাছে হলো অনেকটা পিছিয়ে এবং সুন্দরবনের খুব কাছে আমার ইচ্ছেই ছিল যে এরকম পিছিয়ে পড়ে একটা জায়গায় কিছু একটা প্রতিষ্ঠান করি আপনারা জানেনি যে যে কোনো একটা প্রতিষ্ঠান গড়ে তোলার পিছনে কত প্রতিকূলতা থাকে সেই সব প্রতিকূলতা কাটিয়ে আজকে আমাদের একটা গর্বের দিন যে জ্যোতির্ময় পাবলিক স্কুল দ্বিতীয় স্থান অধিকার করেছে দক্ষিণ চব্বিশ পরগনার মধ্যে আমার এখানে দু একজন পুরো টিচার এখনও আছেন যারা সেই দিনকে ছিলেন তারা জানেন প্রথম মিটিং আমি যখন তাদের সঙ্গে করেছিলাম আমি বলেছিলাম যে আমাদের ফার্স্ট টার্গেট হবে দক্ষিণ চব্বিশ পরগনায় আমরা এক নম্বর স্কুল হব খুব দূরে নয় আমাদের সেই স্বপ্ন আমরা খুব শীঘ্রই আগামী দিনে আশা করি আমরা এক নম্বর প্রতিষ্ঠান সাউথ চব্বিশ পরগনার মধ্যে পাব তারপরে আমাদের লক্ষ্য থাকবে এগিয়ে যাওয়া রাজ্য স্তরে আমাদেরকে আরও ওপরে নিয়ে যাওয়া আপনারা জানেনি যে একটা স্কুল প্রতিষ্ঠান দীর্ঘ সময় লাগে আজকে যাদের সঙ্গে আমাদের স্টেট লেভেলে কম্পিটিশান হচ্ছে ধরুন লামাটিনিয়ার সাউথ পয়েন্ট সেন্ট জেভিয়াস লামাটিনিয়ার দেড়শো বছরের পুরনো স্কুল আমাদের সবে ১৯ বছর বয়স তো আমাদের একটু সময় লাগবে কিন্তু আমরা যে সঠিক পথে আছি সেটা একদম সত্যি এবং আমাদের সবচেয়ে যেটা ভালো সেটা হচ্ছে যে আমাদের যে টিচাররা পড়াশোনা করাচ্ছেন দ্য টিচার্স হু আর টয়লিং সো হার্ড টু মেক অ্যাভেলেবল বেস্ট কোয়ালিটি এডুকেশন উইচ ইজ কম্পেয়ারেবল উইচ ইজ কম্পেয়ারেবল টু দি বেস্ট অফ দি বেস্ট ফ্রম দি সিটি আই হ্যাভ টোল্ড দি প্রিন্সিপাল অফ দি স্কুল হু ইজ এ এক্সেলেন্ট এডুকেটার সুশান্ত দাস দ্যাট সুশান্ত ডোন্ট কনসিডার ইউর সেলফ সেকেন্ড টু এনি ওয়ান catch the bull by its horn and show your city brethren that you are not at all anywhere less than them you have all the metal and i'm so proud that my children has really proved so well 
Kichudin Age, Kotsur Khanek Age, there was a national competition just before the COVID. And one of my child, a girl child, she beat a student in the national competition in table tennis. And the student she beat was from South Point. So it was my school versus my school. So, uh, but I found that my loyalty, when it comes to Jyotirmoy Public School, I am a Jyotirmoy. And I was so happy that my children has beaten somebody from South Point. So that's, uh, ladies and gentlemen, a plethora of cultural activities awaiting you. So I won't take your time. Please keep blessing the children. Amadir Apur Apnara Jerakum Asta Rekachin, Ay Asta Rakun, Agami Dine, Amra, Amadir Skulki Aro Purani Yavo, Evang Amadir Patra Proto Jarajis of Chelemer Achim, Tadir Kamra Potek Botchuri, Nutun Nutun Aro, Subida Devo, Evang Amadir Sports Yapna Janani, Amadir Ichache, Ye Jotoro Kumer Sports, I Shigulu Amrek and available for Mo, Evang Amra Dapra Dekachin, Science, Amra Pesi, ninety six percent, class twelve. And 98.2% of the class came in. It is a very difficult task, but Sushant will now have the task to how to get 100% in class 10. 98.2% take a 100% of the class. But what is the best? Getting from 40 to 60 is easy. 60 to 80 is some hard work. 80 to 95 is very hard, but 98 to 100 is very, very difficult. But Shoshant, as like always, likes to be challenged with some difficult tasks. So Shoshant, your task will be, and your entire team, to get 100% in class 10. We will be patient. We will do everything on our bit so that you can achieve this target. So that we are truly Second to none. Era thakbe academics se, our all-round activities se, our no onna no jinish glow thakbe. Plus, we will also now seriously take up the issue of placement of our student in higher education. In best already, best universities have started coming up. You know, our success oka nahi. Ye kichu din aage hi best university gulo our campus se ischilo. Tarai ischilo bolte je dako amra to bhalo university our Poro, Amade Kanesha Porosuna Poro, Tar Manadegi, Tar Mane Amade Cheleme de Shay, Doma Che Choice Corral, Yami Tomar University Porvo, Ami A University Porvo, Amar Eleme Porvo. So that is what we want. It is already showing up. And even best of the best universities will come here. Throughout the world, best universities will come here to select my students. I am looking forward to that day. Thank you very much. Kawai Kup Palo Thakben. Sir, please stay on the stage. Thank you to our patron president, Dr. Partho Sharati Ganguly, sir. We feel really privileged to have your supervision and backing with us all the time. Without you, all this world not have been possible. Thank you again, sir. We are taking this opportunity to felicitate, sir. Felicitating him is our principal, Mr. Shushan Dash. It's always a pleasure to have Dr. Ganguly with us. He's our eternal source of guidance. Thank you so much again, sir.